Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Marketing Show. I'm Ty Daniel Smith. And I'm Kylie Lowe. And today we are discussing the five top free tools that you need to set up before you start doing any marketing. Uh, so we will walk through five helpful tools you need for marketing and what they are used for. So regardless of what industry you're in, whether it is crypto, whether it's cannabis, whether it's technology, whether it's, I don't know, car sales, uh, you need these five free tools if you're doing any kind of digital marketing. So let's get into it. The first one is Google Analytics. This is probably the first tool you should set up um, in the process of setting up your website. It allows you to monitor the traffic of your site. Uh, you can see how much traffic you're getting. You can see where it's coming from. You can see how site visitors are behaving on your site, what they're clicking on, things like that. Um, super, super helpful, really advanced, but for just the basics of marketing, um, it's not that complicated to, to set up. You can get pretty specific, right? Of where, where people are coming from. Like, you can see like, down to everything possible. You can see country, you can see city. Um, there's, there's a lot of information. In Google yeah. Analytics. Um, so number two is Google search console. So Google search console is also very similar to analytics in terms of monitoring site traffic, but it's specific to uh, organic traffic from Google search engine traffic. Um, so you can see the keywords people are searching for before they find your site. You can see which web pages people are finding. If you're doing any kind of SEO, this is like the number one tool to, to see if it's working. Um, and you can actually even see based on which keyword you're, you're ranking for, you can see how well you're ranked. So you can see if you're in the top 10 first page or whatever it is. Um, so another super, super useful free tool. Uh, number three is another Google product, Google Data Studio. So Google Data Studio is sort of a, an aggregating platform where you can tie a bunch of different data sources together and better analyze them uh, in a more visually appealing way. Uh, it's really good for identifying trends. You can tie in things like Google Analytics, like uh, Google Search Console, and uh, even things like Google Sheets, which is great because you can put anything in Google Sheets. Um, number four, Google Optimize. Uh, Google Optimize lets you run A and B, te a B tests, excuse me. Um, a B tests are testing multiple versions of something. So if it's an image on your site or um, the copy on your site, whatever it is, a background color, it lets you see how well people are converting based on different parameters. So I say A-B test. There's also A-B-N test, which is just more than two versions of something. And you've run an A-B test on our website. I've We've talked run about it constantly. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, there's another episode we're going to be doing soon, which is based on an A-B test that we ran that actually showed based on the header we put on the first page of our mm -hmm. website, um, we increased conversions by nine times. Yeah. Which is actually Huge. crazy. And um, that's something you would never know just making such a small tweet. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. otherwise you're making decisions based on just your gut. Right. If you're never testing it, then you're not, you're not a marketer. You're just kind of a... I don't know what you are, but uh, <laughs> you're not savvy. Um, regardless of how smart you think you are in terms of copy, there's, there's, you need to be testing it. Yeah. Um, all right. So number five, the last one on our list is Google Tag Manager. So Google Tag Manager is the tool that kind of makes a lot of this possible. So the way a lot of these tools work is you will insert a line of code into the header or the footer or the body of your website. Uh, and that tells the browser to render certain tools like analytics or search console onto uh, the site. So if you do Google Tag Manager, it's just one line of code you put into, I think it's two actually, it's one in the header, one in the body. Um, and then you could add all different kinds of uh, other code implementations like Google Analytics, like uh, Search Console, like Optimize, all of that we do through Google Tag Manager. Um, you can also set up things like event tracking um, so you can assign different values to different events and you can monitor that better through Google Tag Manager. And if you're doing any kind of pay-per-click advertising, uh, that will let you analyze the conversion rate of different actions on your site. So you can see what's actually working in terms of marketing. So that's another super, super important one. Um, that will conclude our list. Just to recap the top five free tools, which actually I'm just realizing now are all Google tools. I was just going to say that yeah. it's not a coincidence that they're all 
Google tools. Like, well, the Google makes everything free and right. powerful. So, and Google basically runs the internet at this point. So, yeah. <laughs> their ability to analyze it's top notch, probably. Yeah. So, the top <laughs> five free tools are Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Google Data Studio, Google Optimize, and Google Tag Manager. Uh, if you have any questions regarding these tools or how to set them up, just shoot us a message on our website or on social media, and uh, we are happy to help. Um, if you found this episode valuable, please remember to rate, review, and recommend this podcast to your friends. Uh, these reviews go a very long way in terms of helping us continue to create content like this. That will be all for today, guys. Thank you for joining us, and we will catch you next time. See you later.